hello guys welcome to this python tutorial today we shall be looking at the os.walk method or function which we use to transverse and walk to directories i uh, remember when i make a video on the os module i excluded the os.walk um, due to some reasons and then i promised to make a special video for the os.walk and then Today we shall be looking at how to use the os.walk model. So what does the os.walk functions or method does? That particular function or method to say actually helps us to walk through a directory listing all the files and all the folders and even all the subfolders in that directory, okay, until we consume all the folders that are inside or we actually ask our program to stop. There for instance I have a practice folder here in my desktop and in that practice folder I have one folder inside folder one. I have a text file hello I have another text file sample.txt then inside the folder one I have a hello.py file okay so with the os.walk, I can start working from my practice folder, list all my files, and then go into the folder one and also list all the files I need. Okay, so we are going to do that with the os.walk. Now, let's get things done the right way. So, the os module is actually a built in module, so we do not need to install, we just go ahead and import the os module. Now, the next thing is to check which directory we are currently so that we don't start working blindly, okay? So, we say os.get current working directory. Okay, it says we are in home and Michael, that's my username actually. So, we are going to change, we are going to change directory and then go to our practice folder. Our practice folder is in the desktop. So, we go to the desktop and then from the desktop, we can change directory and then tell it to take us to the practice folder right okay let's confirm that os.get uh, current working directory sorry so now we are in the practice folder we can confirm what is inside os.list there okay and then yep we have our hello the test we have our sample we have our folder one now if you are not yet familiar with the os module you can go out check my video on the os module okay i've give i've given a very good intro on most of the useful method for any beginner or some intermediate stuff you want to do with the os module i've given out some of the models you will need you know like creating folders and the rest of them you can go check out that video so today actually we'll be looking at the OS that work. So now what is the first thing to do? The first thing to do is to create a for loop which we will use to transverse the folder getting its content and the subfolders in it. Okay. So we say for and then this is gonna return a tuple, the part of the folder which we are currently, then the directories. Let me put ruler. Probably there should be plenty directories inside. And then the last thing is files in os.walk. Okay. And then the part we want it to walk through is os.get current working directory. That is our current working directory, which is the practice folder. Okay. We want it to walk through. Our current working directory which is the current the, the practice folder and then it is going to return us the path which is this path then it was also going to return the directories inside this path and the files inside this path as well okay so let's get done let's tell it now print the first thing you should print is the path the second thing you should print is the directories and then the last thing you should print is the files okay so let's see uh, how exactly 
we have the home Michael desktop practice okay this is the path which we ask it to print okay then we said it should print the directories okay now it has actually returned a list of directories so we have only one directory inside the practice folder which is folder one that is why we're having only a single entry in our list and then it also returns a list of files that are inside the practice folder which we have the hello the txt and then sample the txt it still goes ahead to walk through the practice folder and then even into the sub folder which is folder one and then inside folder one we don't have another folder so this place is empty this list is empty but inside folder one we have a file which is known as hello.py which is true so at least let's check it out um we have in our practice folder we have folder one we have text we have sample that is true inside folder one we have hello.py exactly so you see how you can walk through your um, your file system with just two lines of code and then you can just simply apply some conditions to perform some more complex tasks than just working and then listing all the directories for you okay let's say we just wanna be sure if we get to a place where there is hello dot pi in the folder then we should break okay we should stop this actually will not make a lot of sense because the hello.py is actually in the last folder so it probably will stop there so let's say we want it once it gets to where this text hello.txt is it should break the loop it should stop working there so that it doesn't go to this subfolder okay so we can actually use the same for loop here and then apply some condition let's say for part and then directories and then files in os dot work then we tell it work in our current directory okay uh-huh and then we're gonna say if then let's say if hello if hello dot txt in the files okay then it should break right it should break that means if this hello the txt is found among the files in this folder then the loop should break it shouldn't continue to go into the sub directories right okay so let's do that and see if it works now actually we didn't ask it to print anything so it isn't print anything i hope you know that so let's quickly copy that again and then ask it to print so that we see where it stops okay so tell it to print all right print the path print the directories and then print the files Okay, so if hello.txt is in file, then it should print the part, the directories in that part, the files in that part, and then it should break. So let's see. Wow, exactly what we expected. So in this folder, the practice folder, we have the hello.txt, which makes this condition to be true. Okay. It makes the condition to be true and because the condition is true we go and then we print this the part name which is this then we also print the directories that are inside which is just one and then we print the file inside which is hello.txt and sample just txt so we can actually inverse that command and then let's see what will happen okay let's change it so that our conditions becomes false if 
hello dot txt not in files right if this is not in the files then it should print it should print the part so instead of checking for the folder in which this is we are saying if the hello.txt is not in the files then print the path the directories and then the files so we should be expecting this output here because the hello.txt is not here okay so let's quickly run it and confirm it exactly now you see we have our folder here which is the part home michael desktop practice and then inside the folder one because the hello.txt does not exist inside the folder one it exists inside the practice folder so that is why this is imprinted you can do a lot of funny stuff with this os.work like write a program that can traverse your folders and then gathering some files based on a given format and then bringing them to one place and then keeping them for you okay i think i'm gonna work on an app that will gather all my stuff one place and i'll make sure i make the video available as soon as possible so that you can see how we efficiently uh, enjoy the power of the os.work to do some incredibly amazing things right so guys this is all for this video if you like this video and it it has helped you learn something new you hit the subscribe button you turn on your notification and then make sure you give this video a like okay that will really go a long way to help out so look out for the next video which i'm gonna make using the os.work and the globe model to walk through my directories and gather the files according to the format which i want see you in the next video thank you for watching and stay safe